What's going on guys? Today we start talking about sorting algorithms in JavaScript. And the first one we'll look at is called bubble sort. It's not the best algorithm. In fact, it's pretty slow in most cases, but it's the simplest of all. So it's the perfect one to start with. Bubble sort is a way of sorting an array of numbers from smallest to largest, where larger numbers bubble to the top one by one. Let's create an array. Let's just give it random numbers. By the way, I'm using live server, which automatically refresh, refreshes my page when I save it. So you see my, my items printed in the console. Okay, and it's just JavaScript file connected to the HTML page, just the usual thing. So how does bubble sort work? We iterate loop over each item and compare it to the next one. So in our case, let's just call it left. Left, we're comparing left number to right number, where the number we are on is, is left number and the number we're comparing with, the next number is the right number. So we compare left number to right number. And if left number is greater than right number, then we swap those two numbers. So we're comparing three to six. Is three greater than six? No, it's not. Then we go over, over next item. So now it's six and two. We compare six and two. Is six greater than two? Yes, it is. In that case, we swap them. And let's me, let me just write some pseudocode. So if you understand better. So first iteration, we're comparing three and six. Three is not greater than six. Then we move on. Then we move to six. We compare six and two. Is six greater than two? Yes, it is. In that case, we swap them. So now we have two and six. Then the next one, we go to six. Is six greater than 11? No, it's not. Then we move to another one. We compare 11 with one. Is 11 greater than one? Yes, it is. And in that case, we swap them. So this was our first, iter oops, first iteration. The second iteration, we do the same thing. We compare three and two. Is three greater than two? Yes, it is. And then we swap. The next one is three. We compare three, three and six. Three is not greater than six. Then we move on. Move to six and one. We compare six and one. Is six greater than one? Yes, it is. That means, oops, we swap them. Is six greater than 11? No, it's not. Then we'll leave it as it is. Okay, the third iteration. We compare two and three. No, three and one. Yes, three is greater than one. So we swap them. And then these numbers are sorted already. And then the last one, what we need to do is two and one. Is two greater than one? Yes, it is. And these numbers are sorted already. So you see that one by one, larger, larger values bubble to the top. So we have 11 bubbled first, then we have six, then we have three, then we have two, and then we have one. So pretty much bubble sort, as the name says, the larger values bubble to the top. So in our array, we have one as the last element, but it's the smallest value. So eventually all of these values will bubble to the top, leaving one in the beginning. So let's start writing our code. Let's create a function and call it bubble sort, which is taking the array. And first thing I'll do, I'll calculate the length of the array to not do it all the time. So we need a for loop, the basic for loop, while i is less than length, i plus plus. Oops. So this loop will go over each item, but of course just one for loop is not enough because after just one iteration, we have only one sorted element, guaranteed. So we need an inner for loop. Let's write it. Let, oops, let j equals to zero while j is less than length of the array j plus plus and later on we're going to optimize this condition but for now it's fine so what this will do is this loop it will go we'll make sure that every every item is sorted in our array okay so what do we do here we say if array j is greater than array j plus one 
then we're gonna swap these numbers okay so so j in our case j is zero right so j is index at zero is three and j plus one zero plus one is one so we're saying is three greater than six no it's not then we in another iteration we'll say six greater than two yes it is and if it is so then we swap the swap functionality to swap is not that hard right we just need to we just need to save this value somehow, uh, somewhere to make sure that it's not lost and we're gonna save it to the temp temporary variable called temp const temp equals to array j oops so now this value is saved and um, we are going to assign this value to this to this address instead okay we'll say array j oops equals to array j plus one and array j plus one equals to temp to whatever initially this value was okay then we're just gonna return our array and even though we return our array this array original array will be modified right because it's a reference data type array is a reference data type and this is just we're working with references and they can be modified and this value will be changed let me show you let me console log just array and then oops let's let's call bubble sort on it pass in this array and let's call array now after after it's been sorted let's save it and you see that initially this array is not sorted then we call this function on it and then we console log array again and now it's sorted right so this function is mm, will modify this array so yeah this is our bubble sort function but we can do we can do better in terms of um in terms of performance and readability and the first thing we will do is we will optimize we will decrease the amount of operations that we're making let's console lock the word operation and see how many operations we're making you see we have 25 times uh, console log so we so we did quite a bit quite a lot of comparisons right and we are right right now we're doing a lot of unnecessary comparisons with numbers that are already sorted and undefined values okay the thing is that every time we iterate we we sort more and more and more values right because after each iteration one no, one number is sorted guaranteed like here we have 11 then we have six then we have three then we have two right so we can restrict that window of comparisons right uh, by one and how does that express this in code is we say while j is less than length minus i minus one so what this will do now watch i'm gonna save the page and watch how many operations we will have you see now we have 10 operations right so it's it's nice optimization we're not doing needless comparisons anymore so yeah that's that's one thing we can do we can also extract this piece of code into a separate function for the better readability let's call this function swap that takes takes an array left and right okay oops what did i do okay so now we just say instead of j we say left and instead of j plus one we say right okay so that that will do it let's save the page um well i didn't call it and i just say swap and i pass array and i pass j plus one and I, oops j as the left and j plus one as the right so now we save it and you see that this works but we can also we can write it another way using es6 array destruction syntax and i really love that syntax and i think it's i think it looks better 
and more readable to me. But I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this function. I'm gonna copy it here and just comment it out in case you like this one better. But what I'll do instead is I'll say okay, watch array left and array right equals to array r let me right and array left okay this this piece of code will do the same thing you see i save the page and you see it is sorted i like this better than this to be honest but you know to each its own so that's that's it i think thank you guys for watching this is the bubble sword and i will be doing videos about another sorting algorithm soon so if you like this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you later have a good one